everybody, this is the Week Strand. 2007 saw the release of Ghost Rider, a movie that was not a big hit. And you know, the critics savagely ripped it apart and the audience kind of sort of uh, shoulder shrug. I thought it was a pretty bad movie. It was not, you know, terrible or anything like that, but it had a bad villain, it had a, an uninteresting story, it had weirdly written characters that were kind of out there and and it didn't even have the courtesy of giving us some cool action sequences featuring of all things a burning skeleton on a motorcycle it was just a bit boring granted there were a couple of sequences in this movie that was absolute boss and was absolutely amazing but Throughout the whole, it was just kind of a shoulder shrug in a movie that no one really cared about. But comparing Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider The Spirit of Vengeance, the movie we're gonna you know, take a look at today, it is like comparing a Porsche to an old Datsun. And with that said, I will just say that this is one of the single worst comic book movies I have ever seen in my entire life. It is worse than the Fantastic Four movies. It is worse than Batman and Robin. It is actually even worse than, you know, Captain America that was made in 1990. That bad. The most bizarre thing of the whole thing is that one of the movie's writers, David S. Goyer, is the same guy who the same year as this came out wrote The Dark Knight Rises. How can I accept that and still have faith in humanity? Tell me, how? How? Is it possible? Anyway, let's take a look at Ghost Rider, the spirit of vengeance. Nicolas Cage is back as Ghost Rider and he has to find a kid that is kind of the son of the devil because the devil has come down to earth to find him and you know, perform some kind of a ritual to take over the world, blah blah blah, the usual stuff. If Ghost Rider can get this kid, he might be able to you know, lift the curse that is set upon him so that he doesn't have to be Ghost Rider anymore. Now that doesn't sound too bad on paper, but this movie made some kind of a record. I'm just gonna make a comparison here. When I saw Scott Pilgrim vs. the World for the first time and saw the you know, retro 8-bit thing with the Universal logo, I was like, I love this movie. This movie's gonna be so fucking great. When I saw Columbia Pictures being rushed in, you know, uh, with the editing in the Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, I saw, I said to myself, I'm gonna hate this movie. This movie's gonna suck. And it did. This movie has some of the worst editing I have ever seen, ever, the, you know, enhanced zoom and whatever you want to call them when you're, you know, gliding with the camera and speeds things up and slows things down and stuff like that. It was, it was so bad. It was so distracting because they keep doing it over and over and over again. No, this is not the biggest problem this movie has. The biggest problem is not even, you know, how shitty this movie looks, despite having a, you know, decent budget. They don't have enough money to get proper camera equipment because most things look kind of depressing, dirty and unprofessional actually. But that is not the biggest problem either. The biggest problem in this movie is not even the fact that Nicolas Cage is going full on Nicolas Cage in this movie. I mean, the scraping at the door, scraping at the door sequence is so batshit insane that it, it is, you know, ranking up there with some of the most over-the-top Nicolas Cage performances has ever been made. And Nicolas Cage is so surreal in this movie that you're kind of wondering, what the fuck am I watching? The biggest problem with this movie is how enormously dumb this movie is. Because, I mean, the inconsequential storytelling and sometimes the fact that, you know, Ghost Rider can take missiles to the face and stuff like that and, you know, not a scratch on him, then he takes something else. In, in the stomach, then he has, you know, be hospitalized for a bit. They're like, what? Consistency, man. And the, and the sequence when he's spinning around a little bit, when he, you know, gets hit by something and he's sort of spinning around and I'm sort of, what the hell is going on here? And then he goes, and then he, you know, beats up people. 
The biggest problem this movie has, except for the stupid things, we'll get to that in a second, is how boring this movie is. Because we have so many stretches of boring things where nothing is happening and the only thing we have to look at is, is crazy Nicolas Cage doing crazy Nicolas Cage stuff. But there is so much that does not happen in this movie. The action sequences are absolutely terrible. The car chase in the end you know, has a couple of seconds of cool stuff, but then it sort of just ends before things have, haven't properly, you know, started off. And then you all, and then you have all of these wacky sequences when you know Ghost Rider is pissing fire and he's snorting fire through his nose to ignite the bike, which is even more stupid than you would think. You know, Nicolas Cage making funny faces and you know going insane, going with the scraping at the door thing and drinking jugs of water for some reason and delivering lines that are so stupid that you're thinking, who the fuck wrote this? And you said, and then you remember, oh, it was David S. Goyer who wrote this thing. Did he do drugs before doing this? <sighs> This movie is so stupid. This movie is so boring. This movie is so inconsequential. And then we have the bad villains. We know with the goon who has the decay power that's boring and stupid. And then we have, you know, the devil walking the earth. Whenever you're having the devil, the actual devil in a movie, that fails to work. Because having the devil in the movie and he has to drive a car and he has to have a silly, you know, ringtone on his phone, it just makes the whole thing look low rent and stupid the entire movie looks low rent and stupid and i don't know if 65 million dollars ever have looked this little the lack of good action sequences and adrenaline filled sequences the lack of suspense and the lack of cool characters is this movie's absolute biggest problem this movie has so many problems that there are just a few sequences in this movie that actually managed to get this, you know, over the one digit rating that it was going for. And that is the awesome sequence when Ghost Rider turns some kind of digging machine uh, in some kind of a, you know, pit or something like that into what looks like, you know, Hellspawn's digging machine. That is fucking awesome. Some small little bits of the car chase in the end did look kind of cool, but... Um, Everything else was just terrible. And he also wasted a perfectly good Idris Elba on A, one of the dumbest sequences in the entire movie, and B, having to do literally nothing except dying in, you know, before the third act. And also, this movie has some of the worst acting I've ever seen. I mean, Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage-iness is always fun, but it is just... Why am I watching this? I mean, Ghost Rider was not a very good movie, but at least it looked like a movie. This looks like some kind of very expensive direct-to-video bullshit. This movie just looks so low rent and it just is so inconsequential that I'm not surprised they haven't done a third one because what is it gonna do? Shit fire? I, know, I don't know. Once Ghost Rider has pissed fire, there is really no going back from there then you know that the movie is truly, truly over. And also, Christopher Lambert is in this one. Hooray! Boring, incredibly inconsequential, ill-written, terribly directed, cheap-looking movie cannot get any more than 11 points. There is a couple of sequences that are so bad that they are hilarious that I cannot hate this movie. It is the type of movie that you put on to laugh at, not laugh with. It is the type of movie that you put on to view and see this is exactly how bad comic book movies can get when they get really really terrible and as i said this movie has a couple of so bad that they're good sequences but not even that can you know bring it up from 11 points so i'll see you next time from well so and so reviewing well such and such thank you for watching thank you very much